it is slow obviously it's not updated it's old it's kind of weird when you look back at something like this and you're just like oh this is so quaint it's like analog it's like the old days this was not that long ago time is going by way too quickly it's time for a wig review so I ordered this wig I ordered this week on Thursday. It is Saturday right now. So, Glamour Trass, thank you very much for the speed service. That's pretty speedy. I also, I like Elevate Styles as well. That's where I got the, um, the other wig that I reviewed in the last video that I can't remember what the name of it is. But I've only done one. So, this one, it's not a straight wig. It's not a straight hair wig. Um, it's a curly one. Let's see if I, when I pull it out. The wig, 100% human natural blend wig. Um, this, this is, it's weird that they have the blonde one on here, even though I did not get the blonde wig. As you can see, it's, 1B30. It's the HH, the HH Mary. I like this box. It's pretty. It's classy. Um, all right. So let's, I'm gonna open it. -da -da. Oh, that looks really familiar. That looks like this other wig that I was wearing this winter. Oh boy, okay. I'm not saying this is gonna be good. I'm just saying I'm going to try it. Okay, this is a full cap. I think human hair blends are, sh I don't know, the idea of it is kind of strange to me. Um, this is it. it the, the cap is very like, around like it is going to cover your head completely um it already looks tight enough there are no combs whatsoever a lot of people don't like no combs but i like no combs i don't like combs i feel like I, I, every time i use a comb i'm just like it's damaging my hair i just know it just having it like i don't know i just i don't like combs but it does have, you know, the little, the strap that you can like secure and stuff. So, okay. Where is the tag? Okay. Here we go. So the texture, texture wise, it's soft. Um, I, human hair blend, okay. It's very soft, it's nice. Um, I think I would need to, let's see, just do a little bit of, um, I'm not gonna, I know this is crazy, but I'm not gonna cut the card off yet. Although, my feeling about it so far, is that um, I can work with this, I think. The 1B30 blend, oh, hmm. I'm not super crazy about it. I'm trying to figure out what to do with the front here. I think it's I think it's workable I'm just gonna show the the back clearly I don't I don't know what the back is gonna look like I have to watch this video let's see it feels like it's short um what I do like about this right away 
Um, I, I do like the curl pattern. The curl pattern is good, but I really like this length. I think it's good for summer. And I think that's what I had in mind when I ordered it. I, as much as I love straight hair, I also really, 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 really love big curly hair, but I didn't want anything too big that it would be really hot to wear. Um, I wanted something off of my shoulders. Mm, I think I might be able to work with this. I think. I so far I've played with it so much manually that there's I don't think I can justify thinking about sending this back. <laughs> like I don't think that'd be right. I've sent several wigs. I've returned wigs before. I actually returned two wigs like last month alone. And um, I have no problem doing that. I don't really, I don't do anything to them. I don't take the tags off. But this has potential. I'm just not sure how I'm gonna style it. Um, I don't hate it though. I just have to figure out what, how the frick to like style it, that's all. Um, if it is indeed, as it says, a human hair blend, maybe that has something to do with the realistic texture of it. But I mean, it was like 20 bucks, I think. Really, really good price point. Um, I like it for the most part. I do, I do. I think I can take the tag off now. I'm gonna cut this tag off. I'm gonna go into the bathroom and just kind of like trim it and tease it and take a look at it. And then I'm gonna come back for my final take on it. So I went in the bathroom mirror. I didn't do too much. I just snipped a little bit of the hairs in front and I kind of pulled them out a little bit because there's some that look kind of just tight and plasticky. I just separated them out a little bit. So, good things about this wig. The cap fits so snug. It's perfect right out the box on my head. I have a big head, so that means it is big head friendly. It is literally ear to ear. I mean, it covers just everything. Like, this is like, fully got your head covered. Um, and I like that. It's very snug. Um, I like that it's ear to ear. I like that I can do like this. Even though it's not a lace front, it doesn't look crazy. Um, I know the hairline still looks kind of nuts, but I, if the wind blew and this is what you see, like I wouldn't be mad at that. Um, the cons are that this P1B30, I guess P means that the 30 is like really pale, which I don't like. I like my 30 to be browner and golder and not this pale. I and mean, it's not so terrible that like it ruins the wig, but it's not what I expected. Again, P1B30 is different than just 1B30. And I have been studying as much as I can to understand all of the the countless numbers of hair color codes to see what they mean and it is very daunting I feel like there needs to be a Bible somewhere like somebody needs to put that together or tell me if it exists just a Bible of like all the colors because I'm sure like maybe colors are still coming color combinations are still probably being made but if there could just be a Bible of like the DX2340 and this LX slash and whatever like so you could just see what each one looks like um, that would be helpful so yeah those are the cons I I can't quite figure out you know with every wig there's a personality you know my braided wig is like African princess but you know you can like that's that's just the personality like you can interpret it out how you like you know you as an individual you uh you make things look 
how they look unique because of your own unique essence, right? But you kind of know what you're working with. And I'm not really sure what I'm working with with this. I'm not quite sure yet. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't really understand it yet. It is very kind of like free form and all over the place. I kind of think I want to make it look more um, I hate to use the word urban. I kind of want to make it look, I don't know, cooler, more me, less wiggy, less something that I've seen before, less less out of the box, less, I don't know, less, you know, floor model looking. Like, look at these. These are, these are pretty bad. Like, that's, that's pretty awful. What is that? Is that the human here or like the plastic here? So maybe if I just tease it out more, maybe if I find like a I do like a mo I don't I don't know I have to cut this off I li like look at this that is cute I like this curl just hanging over here I like how like this cap really covers everything I'm trying to think if I even want to uh, buy another one that's just black or 1b alone I think that might be cute we'll see but I don't regret this purchase though I don't regret it. I feel like there are things that I can do with it, and I'm not a um, I'm not a wig styling expert, so I don't know how to do that like right now in front of you. I don't really um, I'm not I'm not colored beautiful out here. Colored beautiful, by the way, is like one of my fave wig reviewers. She doesn't she doesn't post very regularly, but when she does, it's always it's always fun. I like that this texture doesn't look far-fetched on me like it looks like it could be my hair you know like it doesn't it's not like a huge leap of imagination so I think maybe I'm gonna try to find my paddle brush paddle brush this out a bit see how it's looking maybe go to Ulta Beauty maybe take it out in the streets see how that works but yeah that's it so this is like i said it's it came in this really cute box it's the wig like that's what it says the wig it's the wig and it's called the wig 100 percent human natural blend wig from the wig usa.com maybe i'll check that out because I, I really enjoy doing this this is fun that's fun times but yeah Well, at least this is a nice short video. Like, I don't have to do a whole lot of editing. That's if I even release it. I know you're probably thinking, well, maybe it'll be easier if there was a part, but I hate those horrible looking parts that come with curly wigs that are just like, bam, like just right here. Like, you can't change it. Now, I can't make a part in this. I could kind of like stunt a part. Um. But I'm, I'm okay that it doesn't have a part. I don't need it to have a part, it's okay. Um, yeah, maybe it could be tapered a little bit. And I really don't know how to do tapering well. It could be tapered a little bit, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Okay, I'm done. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think of this wig. If you have this wig, if you like this wig, if you hate this wig, what would you do with this wig? um and i will see you i'll see you in the next video i'm sorry i'm awkward when i'm when i'm when i'm doing these things it's stupid but like i am